In late 2021, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu announced that the Russian army would be supplied with S-350 Vityas, S-500 Pramedi, and more importantly, S-550 systems. The first two were already familiar to the West, but the S-550 has taken NATO completely off guard. It is believed that the S-550 can intercept ballistic missiles at distances beyond the S-500 because of its space attack and defense roles. If true, the S-550 would be able to intercept spacecraft such as satellites in low Earth orbit and take down the fastest American aircraft currently in operation, such as the F-22 Raptor. Not only is Russia finally implementing its new air defense systems after a decade in the making, but it's doing so with a bang. Russian SAMs. During the Cold War, the Soviet Union and the United States began developing a series of long-range surface-to-air missiles for defensive purposes. Both the West and the East feared a large-scale attack from each other and were unwilling to take any risks against hostile aircraft and missiles. In the early 1970s, before the end of the Vietnam War, the Almaz Ante Corporation, or JSC Concern, began developing a new anti-aircraft defense system for the Soviet Union. The objective was to procure a platform that could be used by the Soviet air defense forces against air raids, cruise missiles, and interception of ballistic missiles. Preliminary tests for the basic S-300 began early in 1975 and continued until 1987 for other variants. However, the first iteration was introduced to the military in 1978. The S-300PT, or SA-10A Grumble, per its NATO designation, is fully automated but can be manually operated. It features a passive electronically scanned radar and can simultaneously engage multiple targets with a single fire control system. A command guidance system directs the missile during the flight's initial stage and allows the S-300 to engage targets at altitudes as low as 30 meters. The entire system is semi-mobile and takes over 50 minutes to assemble for firing. By the late 1980s, the Soviet Union had produced over 100 S-300 systems, including the S-300PM, which was fitted with a nuclear warhead, mobile radar, and command post vehicles based on the Soviet Maz 7910 eight-wheel truck. And as of 2015, Russia has produced over 3,000 launchers and 28,000 missiles. Despite their varied features, the family of S-300 variants work together and can destroy ground objectives at a range of 120 kilometers and up to 400 kilometers if launched in a ballistic trajectory. S-400 Triumph Despite the effectiveness and reliability of the S-300 family and its variants, Almaz Ante came up with a more effective successor derived from the S-300 PMU-3. It was the S-400 Triumph, or NATO's SA-21 Growler. The S-400 Triumph SAM entered service in 2007 and is organized by the 30K-6E administration system, which can coordinate up to eight divisions with a panoramic radar detection system that has a range of 600 kilometers. Additionally, other mobile radar stations can further improve the system to bolster detection range. One S-400 system of eight battalions controls up to 72 launchers and over 380 missiles. The S-400 has a maximum target speed of 4.8 kilometers per second, or Mach 14, the estimated range against ballistic targets is 60 kilometers, and altitude limits to engage aerodynamic targets vary between 30 and 180 kilometers. An entire S-400 system can simultaneously engage up to 80 targets, and over 160 missiles can simultaneously engage one target with two missiles. Additionally, the S-400 system can move on roads at speeds of over 60 kilometers per hour and has off-road capabilities to deploy it anywhere across the established defense zone. As such, some S-400 systems are deployed in the southern Kuril Islands and the Far East to counter North Korean missile tests. They've also been used in Syria since 2015 and in Ukraine since 2022.
the Prometheus. In the mid-2010s, Almaz Ante Corporation launched a more advanced version of the S-400 that was to complement it on the battlefield. The S-500 Prometheus, or Tirum Fator M, then entered service in 2021. This model is the latest generation of Russian SAM systems and features numerous upgrades that make it more lethal against ballistic missiles, jamming, and airborne early warning aircraft, as well as low-orbit satellites. Compared to the S-400, the Prometheus can destroy targets at ranges of up to 600 kilometers and can intercept targets at altitudes beyond 190 kilometers. And as if that was not enough, it has a response time of 4 seconds compared to the 9 to 10 seconds of the S-400. Prometheus employs two new missile types, the 77N6N and 77N6N1. Both can be fitted with an inert warhead to destroy nuclear missiles with sheer physical impact, and can fly at speeds beyond 7 kilometers per second at a range of over 600 kilometers. The complete S-500 battery comprises the 40V6MT Universal Mobile Mast System, four radars, and two command posts. Like the S-400, the Prometheus also has been recently deployed in Ukraine to protect Russian troops from Ukrainian aircraft and missiles. S-550 Rumors In November of 2021, Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu announced that, quote, President Putin placed special emphasis on the importance of advancing the development of domestic air and missile defense systems and the supply of S-350, S-500, and S-550 to the armed forces. Although little information is known about the new SAM system, anonymous sources close to the Defense Ministry have stated that Russia plans to introduce the S-550 system by 2025. During an interview with the Russian agency TASS, military expert Dmitry Litovkin said that the S-550 would likely, quote, become an extra element of the S-500 Prometheus system. It was earlier announced that this system would be able to shoot down both ballistic nuclear warheads and low-orbit satellites. Judging by everything, the military has made a decision to divide these functions between the two. It appears that the S-550 will be tasked with space defense roles, such as shooting down low-orbit satellites, spacecraft and ICBMs, or intercontinental ballistic missiles. Other rumors have specified that the initial design of the S-550 dates back to the era of the Soviet Union. At the time, there was plenty of documentation and even full-size prototypes of the S-550, but everything related to the project was destroyed when the nation collapsed. Rising Tensions Back in 2014, Almaz Ante designer General Pavel Sazanov told the press that Russia was focusing on creating analogs of American defense systems to destroy ballistic missiles and re-entry vehicles of intercontinental missiles. Although Sazanov was referring to the S-500, it may indicate that the military is indeed following Litovkin's prediction and relaying the space defense roles to the new SAM system. Other Russian specialists have mentioned that the S-550 can be compared to the American THAAD and Aegis, with SM-3 Block 2B missiles in terms of performance. Prior to the Russian invasion of Ukraine, President Vladimir Putin said during a December 2021 press conference that, quote, The United States is standing with missiles on our doorstep. How would the Americans react if missiles were placed at the border with Canada or Mexico? Such claims may be proof that the S-550 project might be accelerating rapidly, especially given the recent outbreak of the conflict in Eastern Europe and the numerous defensive systems that both Ukraine and Russia are currently employing to fend off enemy attacks. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe to our Dark Documentaries channels to find more exciting historical content and everything we know about modern warfare technology. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon to be notified of our newest videos, and stay tuned for more.